Ready Tampa Latin Times and the magazine and the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce of Tampa Bay are hosting their second annual Cuban Sandwich Festival in Ybor City tomorrow. Chefs from South Beach to South St. Pete Beach will be competing. Centennial Park will be brimming with hundreds of pounds of pancuano, jamón, roast pork, cheese, pickles. I can hardly get the words out because I am so excited. Joining us in the studios with more, we have Jolie Gonzalez, who is the president of the chamber and also with the Latin Times magazine. And also we have Timothy Mendez of Amarillo's Sandwiches and more here in West Tampa, a favorite place for all of us here at ABC Action News. Thank you both for coming. <laughs> Thank you Thank very you. much. The, the aroma of the Cuban sandwiches mm. in here, everybody is surrounding the set today. Thank Tell you. us about the event tomorrow. It's such a great idea that you all came up with last year, Jolie. Well, you know, the event is a cultural festival that focuses on finding the best Cuban sandwich in Florida. We have three categories. We have our traditional, our non-traditional, and this year we've incorporated our popular category, which means the public will get to uh, taste all the different sandwiches <laughs> and vote via their uh, cell phones uh -huh. for their favorite sandwich of the day. So as they walk through Centennial Park and they taste, they can text which one they like the most. That's right. <laughs> one of the things that, that Amarilis is saying sandwiches and more did for us they brought in two versions of their Cuban sandwiches they have the non-traditional which is the bucanero which is yes. what you all call the bucanero and then you have the traditional and we want you to see at home the difference they really are very they look very different in between mm -hmm. the, the two slices of Cuban bread there's a whole lot going on <laughs> <laughs> Timothy tell us what's in the traditional oh in the traditional it is uh, pork uh -huh. salami ham Swiss cheese, mayonnaise, mustard, and pickles. And then the secret at the end is when you press it, right? A la yeah. plancha? When the and also the pork, it is, uh, we you, uh, do the pork, it takes a process about 48 hours uh -huh. of doing it, okay. and which not all the places do it like this. Oh, I know that your father uh, came up with a different version, and there's a secret sauce that he yes. made sure I didn't ask you about during today's interview. <laughs> but you have to give me some of the other ingredients in the right. in the bucanero. So in the bucaneers, there is um, a French salad, there is um, Swiss cheese, uh -huh. uh, two pal palomilla steaks with wow. cheese and ham. Wow. Um, and we have the special sauce that we cannot uh, <laughs> That your father secret. won't let you tell. Yeah. It's, it's really good. Isn't it fun, Jolie, to see the restaurants come up with different recipes for that non-traditional category? It is so exciting and so delicious. I do want to clarify that our, on our traditional, according to the Tampa resolution, there is no mayonnaise on okay. the traditional sandwich. <laughs> and what about the folks who say, I want lettuce and tomatoes in mine? Then they're going to go <laughs> to the non-traditional side, and there's plenty of those. And they're so delicious because they're creative. And we even have one, uh, Dochos, that's a food truck, and it's going to have a deep-fried non-traditional Cuban sandwich. Wow. So imagine all the different types of creativity that goes into the non-traditional. I know that you all started planning this last year for this year. Yes. Any <laughs> Any big changes other than the texting in your favorite one? Yes. Now we also have uh, the Ybor City Museum is is uh, part of the festival as Wonderful. well. So the garden area will transform itself into a nice VIP area where we'll have a 92-inch television screen which will show the results of the popular category. So, Great. you know, it's a lot of exciting stuff. Well, thank you for asking me to be one of the judges. I will be eating to my heart's content. <laughs> thank you both for coming in. Thank you very much. And, and here's the information on your screen for the Q. Cuban Sandwich Festival that's happening tomorrow, March the 30th in Ybor City. The food starts at 10.30 in the morning. We'll see you there.